In this video, we're going to have a quick look at the 2D polygon tool and specifically in a boundary mode. This is one of my favorite problem solving tools in this software package. Effectively, what it does is it, it creates a surface and boundary within a group of lines. It's finding the the first boundary and then making something with inside it. So I'm going to set my attributes so that I have a fill on and I'm going to make it a visible color so that it's easy to see. I go to 2D polygon and inner boundary mode and I simply click and it will create an object for me within a boundary. And you'll notice it hasn't modified these original lines, it's just popped this over the top. So you got to make sure that you clean things up afterwards where necessary. So it's as simple as selecting 2D, poly 2D polygon, clicking on the inner boundary mode and then selecting an object. Now for this example I've got a few different things that we can look at um, and you'll s it'll start to make sense why it's um, particularly helpful for different scenarios. So merely adding a uh, fill to a rectangular area, we could have just traced over the top of this with a rectangle tool, or we could have maybe selected multiple lines like this. If we had four lines already, we could have selected them and come up to modify and down to compose. That would have been a simple method, but in these situations and a lot of the time you'll have overlapping lines um, and it'll be uh, much easier to use this 2D polygon in a boundary mode. So a great example of the, that is here. So imagine I've got a turf section here and then I wanted to add just garden bed right around the rest and I needed to add a hatch to this fairly quickly. This would be a fantastic method because it would be very hard for me to trace around this um, area quickly. I could do it by using the arc tool um, and then I could do the rest using the polyline tool and that would work, um, but it would be slower. It's also great for us when we already have, imagine we had a polyline that extended around the boundary like this. And I'm gonna send that to the back. And then I had this section here that was going to be turf. Later on, if I wanted to use the software for costing spreadsheets and things like that, I'd get false data about the amount of square meters that this covered because it hasn't cut that shape out. It's included that in there. So you can have a look down here, the square meters that it's showing, that's not going to be accurate. So it is usually better for me to either come back and clip this surface out or from the start I could have just come straight to my inner boundary mode and dropped in the appropriate shape. Now to come back and clean things up afterwards if you wish to get rid of lines underneath one of the easiest ways is to right click come down to hide objects and now you'll be able to get to the things that are underneath and delete those. After you've finished deleting out the objects that you need to, you can right click again and go show objects and it'll come back. So that's a good short introduction to 2D polygon in a boundary mode.